Welcome to the Echoes of Faith podcast on the Living Bible Hub Network, where we believe living for Jesus the Christ is easier than you think when you meditate on his word in small bite portions every day. I am your host, Sherry T., and this is the best day of your life because God is in control. We hope these few moments of Bible reading and prayer will empower you to have faith in God, inspire you to pray for your family, friends, and community, and live every day in fellowship with Jesus. Our affirmation for today is, we are excited, blessed, grateful, and most of all, we are believers for life. We believe in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Father, we thank you for this is the day that you have given us. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. May the meditation of our hearts and the words of our mouth be acceptable in your sight. You are our strength and our redeemer. Father, we thank you for healing our hearts and opening our blind eyes. Teach us your ways as we study your word. May the spirit of wisdom and revelation, counsel, power, and might guide us into all truth and show us those things which shall come to pass. Today we put on the full armor of God that we might stand against the forces of evil. We walk by faith and not by sight. Be blessing and honor to the king who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Father, we thank you for sending your Son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have eternal life. We thank you for Jesus and all that he has done for us. In his name we pray, the name that is above every name. All glory, power, and dominion belong to him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Dr. Norman, is the Word of Wisdom National School of Theology accredited? We're a fully online credited college offering theology, biblical studies, and Christian counseling degrees from associates to PhDs. For more information on our present and future studies, you can email me at wow2022 at gmail.com. That's wwnst2022 at gmail.com. Just contact me by phone, 864-305-7011, 864-305-7011. We offer the most affordable fees and tuitions around this time. Remember, Dr. Short says your blessing is in the lesson. The Wild National School of Theology of Anderson, South Carolina. God bless you, one and all. Malachi, chapter one. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Saith the Lord of hosts unto you. O priests that despise my name. And ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offer polluted bread upon mine altar. And ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? 
in that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee, or accept thy person? Saith the Lord of hosts. And now I pray you, beseech God that he will be gracious unto us. This hath been by your means. Will he regard your persons? Saith the Lord of hosts. Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? Neither do ye kindle fire on mine altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord of hosts. Neither will I accept an offering at your hand. For from the rising of the sun, even under the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye have profaned it, in that ye say, The table of the Lord is polluted, and the fruit thereof, even his meat, is contemptible. Ye said also, Behold, what a weariness is it! And ye have snuffed at it saith the Lord of hosts. And ye brought that which was torn, and the lame, and the sick, thus ye brought an offering. Should I accept this of your hand? saith the Lord. But cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth, and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Chapter 2 And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed, and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feasts, and one shall take you away with it. And ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me, and was afraid before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity, and did turn many away from iniquity. For well, the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as ye have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Have we not all one Father? Hath not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Judah hath dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and hath married the daughter of a strange god. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Jacob, and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. And this have ye done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, insomuch that he regardeth not the offering anymore or receiveth it with good will at your hand. Yet ye say, Wherefore? Because the Lord hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Yet is she thy companion, and the wife of thy covenant. And did not he make one? Yet had he the residue of the Spirit. And wherefore one? That he might seek a godly seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, saith that he hateth putting away. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words, yet ye say, Wherein have we wearied him? When ye say, Everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them. Or, where is the God of judgment? Chapter 3 Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? 
And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. And I will come near to you to judgment. And I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers ye are gone away from mine ordinances, and have not kept them. Return unto me. And I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it, then I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord, yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said, It is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? But now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. Chapter 4 For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. But it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise, with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth, and grow up as calves of stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses my servant which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. This concludes our scripture reading for today. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. After a word from our sponsor, we will continue with praise and worship. Life can be a whirlwind. Taking time for self-care isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. Your mental well-being is an important part of your daily routine. Have you ever experienced negative thoughts of depression, loneliness, or scarcity? Unlock the peace from within by texting BELIEVE, B-E-L-I-E-V-E, -E to 877-670-1975 and receive our weekly words of encouragement. Nothing is more powerful than an ideal whose time has come. 
About five years ago, this quote by Victor Hugo became real to me when I found myself in a place of pain, loss, and depression. Here I was sitting in my favorite chair trying to figure out my life after being unemployed for about six years due to a freak accident at work. As I was recovering from my injuries, I realized that I no longer wanted to, nor could I do the work I had been doing for years. It became evident that I needed to reinvent myself. I began seeking, searching the internet and asking friends and family for help, which brought little to no results. I began soul searching, seeking God for direction. Day after day and week after week, I sought God, trying to get clarity on how I could use my gifts and talents to improve, empower others to live out their God-given potential and make an impact in the world. One night before retiring, I asked Infinite Intelligence to give me a phrase that consisted of three words that would impact the way people thought, lived, and lived their lives every day. I enjoy reading those 66 books, Genesis to Revelations. I believe that when we understand the principles and the promises of God's word, they can be life-changing. And as I was seeking God for revelation and direction one day destiny and time came together and God answered my prayer with this phrase believer for life wow I wondered how these words could give people hope value and joy it was in my aha moment I considered what believer for life meant to me it represented the good in all of us being a believer for life gave me hope in my pain, calm in my storm, and comfort in my loss. Being a believer for life interrupted my darkness and illuminated the light. You and I know that life is not always peaches and cream, but reveals the bumps and the bruises of discouragement, hurt, and pain that can cost us our life savings, our personal relationships, and even our health. This is what I know for sure. What God did for me. He will also do for you. God answers prayer. Today, I want you to see yourself as a believer for life. An overcomer no matter what. Believe that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord God. Called according to his purpose. Believe. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Yes, I am a believer for life. And I come to encourage you today to give someone hope and believe that they too are a believer for life.
Thanks for listening to Daily Manna on the Echoes of Faith Living Bible Hub Network. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Become a member of our community. Support, like, and subscribe. Visit our website at livingbiblehub.com. Thank you.